Hello everyone, here is a very quick video on how to factory reset this Hyper Optic Nokia HA-140W-B router. So this is a router that a UK fibre to the premises provider uh, give to their customers. And it's not a very good router. Uh, you do have the option of using your own router and plugging that directly into the uh, ONT or the optical network terminator that's on the wall, uh, which is normally a Genexis one. If you, for example, in this scenario, have changed some settings, like you've forgotten the admin password or the IP address that the router is on. Uh, so over here on the left side, I have it pinging a wrong IP address, so 192.168.5.254, which this router is on, and I've forgotten the password to log into it. On the right hand side over here, I have it pinging the factory default IP address of 192.168.1.1. So the aim today in this video is to factory reset this so that it goes back to the 192.168.1.1 IP address. Uh, over here, it should stop saying reply from and over here it should start saying reply from uh, and these errors that are happening over here should probably move over to this side. So on the back of the router there is a reset hole here. You need your universal reset and eject tool which is otherwise known as a pin or a paperclip or uh, something that you can poke into that. Normally a ballpoint pen is not thin enough or maybe deep enough to get to the reset button. You also do not just momentarily press that reset button, you have to hold it down for 10 seconds. When you do the uh, the correct procedure, and you'll see it in this video, these lights flash quite madly. Uh, if you do it incorrectly and you only hold it down for, or you don't hold it down for long enough, these lights just come on and then go off rather than doing uh, a little disco. So I'll let you know when I'm gonna press this uh, button. So I've put the pin in there and I haven't pressed it yet. Shall try and get this in shot while I do it. So here we go. And as I say, it needs to be uh, 10 seconds. So now. Eight, nine, 10. And then all the lights on the front should flash and we can let go of that but you need to make sure that they flash like this, like a little disco or a traffic light, and then they'll all go solid. If, when you do it, it only does this, all of them solid, you've probably not held the reset button down for long enough. So this router takes a very long time to start up, so I expect it'll be about another two minutes before we see anything on uh, the screen over here. What we do see though is the old IP address, the 192.168.5.254, has stopped responding. And obviously the new default has not yet started because it's still in the process of, uh, of booting up. So that is how you factory reset this hyperoptic router. Hopefully this video has been interesting and helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers do really help. Thank you very much. So we are still in the process of starting up, as I say, it takes a very long time.
And finally, there we go. We now have response over here on the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. And over on the left side, the uh, old incorrect or custom IP address that had been configured is no longer responding. So that is how you factory reset this hyperoptic router. Hopefully this video has been interesting and helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers do really help. Thank you very much.